What's going on, people? What is going on? It's your boy Craig Simmons. It's Gaming TV. And you know what it is. Back with another video. Yes, it's been a lot of things going on so far in the gaming community, man. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Uh, Xbox uh, hot chips been dropped. I ain't a tech guy. I ain't even gonna attempt to try to explain it, but looking like it's, like I said, the console's a monster. Uh, to, uh, PS5 stuff with the dual sense, dual sense controller. Um, new rumble features, uh, locking out triggers with jamming games, uh, locking out the triggers when you gun jam in game. Not bad. Uh, you know, a lot of cool stuff. Um, still waiting to hear more about the PS5. Uh, supposed to have this super high tech cooling uh, technique. Uh, like I said, I'm not a tech guy. I don't know about it, but. Uh, a lot of stuff been dropping slowly but surely um like i said we really miss e3 so for everybody that said uh e3 is irrelevant and dying this is what you get when you don't get e3 you get little tidbits here and there you get uh and, uh, and keep in mind too i get it with the uh pandemic going on covid 19 too has definitely uh hurt a lot of businesses uh whether it's gaming movies or whatever it's taking its toll so and we're especially in the in, as uh far as gaming we're definitely seeing what's going on um halo's been delayed uh the game launching for ps5 has been delayed um because of this stuff so uh you know it is what it is but then we got good games like ghost of tsushima uh came out uh you know so and again the multiplayer which I still think they had that all worked out and done before all this really hit the fan. They just held on to it. Uh, so, it, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, we just got to be patient. And hopefully this stuff will weigh this way out. But uh, basically what I want to talk about today, the main two things that I really want to talk about is Battletoads and the Avengers beta. Um got to play it yesterday finally uh, I guess it's available for everybody now whether you pre-ordered it or not but anyway let's, let's start with Battletoads man uh, there's a lot of hate going on to this game when it was announced uh, two years ago or whatever year ago uh, it's cartoony it's, it's it's not right Microsoft is just oh we want the realistic Battletoads like a killer instinct but then you get a game Streets of Rage 4 comes out which stays true to its cartoony style stylized graphics and it was praised to the high heavens i mean don't get me wrong streets of rage 4 was amazing but it stayed true to what it was back then it wasn't no hyper realistic game which i get it 16 bit back then how can you get realistic graphics with 16 bit but you get what i'm saying it kept stayed true to its arcade roots and so henceforth we have battletoads which battletoads again arcadey cartoony game and they stood to their roots with this one. Um, and I like it. It's bright. The colors are, they pop. Uh, the animations like the battle to the morphing attacks, as we see there, it's turning to the sharks, your hands, the kitchen sinks. It's battle to But I guess because it's not on other platforms uh, outside of Microsoft and PC, the Microsoft ecosystem, uh, people are going to nitpick it. But I tell you what, the game is fun. The combos, the writing, the uh, comedy, uh, it's there. The toughness, like I said, I've, I'm playing on normal and I've died a ton, especially in the sections with the hyper, with the motorbikes or whatever you want to call them. Uh, the boss battles uh, are challenging. Um, I ain't say cuphead challenging, but challenging, but they're fun and they're thought out i'm i'm enjoying it I haven't played it co-op yet but my wife she tried it one time she said no uh no so it's just been me solo um hopefully they'll bring on online uh co-op so we play with other people but uh you switch between the toes and as long as you keep them alive they can regenerate to a point that you can get the little flies and you know bring them back to health uh you can but like i said the, the combat is chaotic fast paced good luck uh i've been enjoying it though um no people complain about it being short 
especially because uh, Miles Morales has been going under scrutiny for being short. But keep in mind, this is not a AAA full-blown on game. This is just basically arcadey fun. And Miles Morales, in a, uh, in the other hand, has that AAA feel. So you expect a little more. Not saying it's gonna be a bad game. Not saying I'm not gonna play it because I'm definitely getting PS5 and I'm gonna play Miles Morales. But I'm just saying it's a big difference between 20, possibly 40, 50, or 60 dollars for Miles Morales. So comparing apples to oranges here. Yeah. But Battle Tools is fun. I definitely recommend, especially if you got Game Pass. It's gonna just cost you whatever you pay for your monthly or yearly subscription. Or oh, it's 20 bucks if you want to buy it flat out. And still, for what you're getting for twenty dollars, is not bad at all. It's right on par with, like I said, Streets of Rage Four. Um, I'm enjoying this just as much as I did with Streets of Rage Four. Um, so it's a win-win, uh, unless you just one of those people that just contempt on hating, just to hate or just be negative. Then you know, stay in your bubble, do your thing. But for everybody that's looking for something fun. Uh, well, you ain't got to sit here and concentrate other than just not dying. Just have fun with your friends right now, like I say, on the couch. Hey, Bottle Toes is a good pickup. I recommend it. Play it. Try it. Have fun with it. Try not to throw your controllers. <laughs> but, uh, like I said, the game was, uh, the game was good. That's all I can say. Um, definitely enjoying it. And... Hopefully I can finish it. I'm stuck on the ice board, the uh, bike level now when it's 2D, side scrolling. But anyway, moving on. Pick up Battle Tools, by the way. But moving on. Right now, the Avengers Beta. It is out. It's live, and it's uh, for everybody now. I'm guessing because, like I said, I haven't pre-ordered it on PlayStation, PC, or on Xbox. Even though I'm definitely getting it, I'm getting it on Xbox. But uh. I played it yesterday for the first time and I was playing on my Xbox One S and I can tell you right now uh, it don't look bad but it was hazy I guess I uh, didn't look as sharp or whatever so um, this morning I got up and I downloaded it on my Xbox One X playing downstairs on my uh, Q7 and let me tell you oh my god this game looks good, man. The visuals um, still get you a little fuzzy here and there, but I, th I think that's part of the beta or whatever, because it's still, like I say, it's still getting polished. But uh, the characters, the colors, everything pops, man. Uh, the combat is fun. Um, open world, you like I say, you're getting that uh, Destiny feel. So I've been enjoying it. Um, been picking up some gear, but. You equip it, it changes your levels, I guess, or whatever, but your costume stays the same. Uh, I don't know if that's just because it's in beta form and they don't really want to show all of the different cosmetics and how the characters can look as far as the costumes stuff, how you can change them. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully once the full-blown game comes out, we equip different band bands and stuff or... Uh, chest plates or whatever the case may be you get different visual effects but I get it still beta who knows we'll see what's going on but uh, the game is fun um, I'm enjoying it uh, outside of not having the original voice actors from the movie but the voice acting is still good uh, the combat is good so far uh, I've been enjoying it the controls are a little clunky at times uh, with the camera but you know it ain't game breaking um, like this uh, abomination fight right here you see uh, I think if I recorded it, I might have done it with the five minute video I don't know yet but uh, I got stuck against the wall at one point and I think he killed me because I couldn't see where he was at because the camera spun around and locked me out for a minute but uh, I'm looking forward to see what this game is going to do so it'll be an original storyline um, not taken away from the MCU stories or the comics it's like their own Thing they piece together and uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm um, not having Spider Man on the Xbox or the PC version, which I'm gonna be playing the Xbox version, uh, doesn't bother me at all. Um, Spider Man won't really a core Avenger, no way. He did join the team on different occasions and guest appeared in some comics and stuff, but uh, he wasn't a core Avenger. 
So as long as it don't affect the main story, um, just gonna leave it at that. And then if I want to or have to play Spider-Man, I catch it again on sale for the PS4 when it's cheap. Buy it on the low, used or whatever the case. If I feel I need to play as Spider-Man a year from now, but uh, the game so far, I'm um, shaping up to be cool. I'm enjoying it, and we will see. Um, hopefully, when it launches, like I say, the uh, the main thing is the online. Hopefully, everything's up and running. That seems to have been a big thing with games this gen with the online capabilities not being ready. But anyway. It's your boy Cray Sunders, man. It's Gaming TV. Hit that like button if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. I don't recommend it, but it's your choice. Like I always say, game on. And I'm out.